Upon opening Genexus, you will see this interface that's known as IDE, Integrated Development Environment. This interface is easy to use and may be parameterized by the developer. It consists of different windows. This is the main window. For now, only the start page is displayed here. This page dynamically displays technical information about the tool and the Genexus community, news as well as solutions posted by other developers. It also shows recently used projects available to be opened and offers the chance to create a new project. We will talk about these windows as we use them. To start developing a new Genexus application, you have to create a new knowledge base. A knowledge base is a Genexus project, which will correspond to the reality for which one or more applications will be developed. We can do it directly from the start page using this tab, or this other tab. We can also do it by selecting File, New, Knowledge Base in the toolbar. This window is displayed. There, we have to enter a name for the new knowledge base. Suppose that we need to develop an application for a travel agency in both native web, we will start by this one, and mobile mode for Android and iOS. For this reason, we call our knowledge base travel agency. Then, the path where you want to create the knowledge base must be entered. If we were running the Genexus standard version, in this prototyping environment combo, we would have to choose the programming language in which Genexus will generate the application programs and the necessary programs to create and maintain the database. But since we're using the specialized version for SAP systems, the combo is disabled. The language will be Java. Further ahead, you will have to enter the database details. The language combo box enables you to select the language in which you want Genexus to generate automatic button captions, labels, messages for the users, and so on. The default language is English. By pressing the Create button, Genexus starts the knowledge base creation process. When the process ends, we can see two windows that will be used very often. The KB or Knowledge Base Explorer window that's displayed as a tree, which will show all the objects in the knowledge base we can see that folders with objects are already displayed. And also the output window that will display a report of the actions performed and the result. 